Hello Earthlings and welcome to Retro Bear Channel. We are live on the air yet again. Hello, I am Retro Bear. These are my hands, those are my arms, and yes, I am that hairy. Um, yes, hi, thank you very much indeed for tuning in. If you are here for the very first time, my last unboxing video must have enticed you in like uh, a child going into a ginger gingerbread house. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, if you are here for the first time, thanks very much for finding the channel if you do like what you see don't forget to check out the rest of the content and also like subscribe comment and do the notification thing if you are returning then my last unboxing video would have been a roaring success and i have now jettisoned myself into the stratosphere of youtube and this may become a thing to come i don't know we shall see so if you aren't under a clue no idea what i'm talking about i'm talking about my last video which was the Unboxing and playing some games on the Retro 1 HD, which is an NES replacement console. Today, um, I've once again been rummaging through the joys of Amazon. Um, not the Amazon, uh, but Amazon UK. And over the past weekend, well, I say past weekend, I'm recording this now. This probably would have been the uh, 4th and 5th of January. Uh, they've been running a couple of what they call lightning deals where they put special offers on for a brief period of time limited amount of stock once that stock sells uh, sells sells uh, the offer finishes now I did notice that um, this particular item I purchased was on there for Saturday and I was too late on Saturday I'd already missed the boat on this one but I did notice on the Sunday they're doing exactly the same thing so having done a bit of research myself on the Sunday um, I decided to buy this particular item and I got it for an absolute knockdown price um, I'll tell you how much I pay for it first because you're probably going to find you're in agreement with me say oh well that wasn't too bad um, it was originally on at 23.99 now as it was one of these lightning deals Amazon had reduced the price on that day to about 13 quid because I'm an Amazon Prime uh, customer I did notice that when I went to the checkout there was an opportunity to tick a box called apply discount and I thought I need the code well I didn't by applying the discount I got even more money off so what you're about to see here including postage including postage cost me eight pounds 63 pence brand new in the box and I could have had it shipped that day I ordered it eight o'clock in about nine o'clock in the morning Sunday morning and I could have had it delivered between 6 and 10 p.m. that night I didn't I did deliver the following day <laughs> what it is is this you're amazingly impressed I can tell uh, yeah this is exactly what it says it could be anything this it could be a Game Boy it could be some sort of PlayStation thing um, but it's not it is not it is um, one of those a 400 game in one three inch screen 8-bit classic and forget what naked it was because they're, they're all the same they're they are all the same I think this this is called a Dizwo you can see that there uh, you can't probably you can't see it this the light no nah, it's like it's called a Dizwo which is spelled D-I-S-W-O-E the day before it was called an Et Park and it was a different color but there's about seven or eight different variations on this on Amazon. It's not something that is hard to track down. You just won't be able to get it for the same price that I did that day. You probably have to pay full price for it now. I know they didn't run the offer on Monday or Tuesday, so this may have been a one-off thing. Shall we have a look inside? Because this is what you're here for after all. You're not me talking about stuff. And this is going to be absolutely no frills. First of all, there's a little card. It says, Dear Customer. Uh, hi, if if leave a positive review, you will receive a gift card of £15. Please send the review and order ID to the email address on the back. Lovely. So, I, I could potentially get another one of these. Not sure why. They may do something else. I, I really don't know. There we go. Now, that's the box. box is empty. Right. So, what have we got here? First of all, now again, I have had a look at this previously, so you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. Um, 
instructions which appear to be in Chinese although it does say product manual on the inside I'm not going to sort of um, oh there's a product warranty card there as well which you basically sort of cut out and fill in yourself where, where would you send it to it doesn't say does it please note fill out the working condition of the machine machine spell m-a-c-i-n-e when the fault phenomenon <laughs> the failure time the environment and the fault occur the environment what slightly drizzly bit of fog um yeah i mean obviously this is translated straight from chinese which is on the back uh, the english on the front yeah, we could sit you could do a whole video reading translating manuals um because of the particularity of each game are designed by different companies so every game in the operation and the key and the key is a clear distinction each button function is not fixed so do not separate game operation instructions please upon receipt of this machine to try the game because of diversity operation and play more meaning answers on a postcard please although it does actually say at the bottom in clear english this product is not suitable for children under 36 months when the sound becomes dumb the console's soul i think this would be slow bad flower stash screen please recharge in time so when the sound becomes dumb lovely right <sighs> uh, what do you get cable wise well you get one of these um which appears to be missing a bit so it's a yeah i'm not sure how that works but it's missing a bit anyway but it's got that plugged in the end of it so I might be able to work my way around it and, and go in there I thought it should they not come with three or can I get away with two I don't, I've got to try this the next thing will next part of this video will be to me trying it so if you get a blank screen then you know it's failed uh, also get another one of these this is a USB cable and this is how you charge it you plug that end into your phone phone charger or USB charger that end goes into your console and, it's, and that's the great thing about it, it, it actually, you, you can charge this up and you can also run it off the mains. It's a brilliant, really, really good, really, really simple thing to do. But for the price you pay for it, it's absolutely ideal. So there's some cables there. Uh, and then we've got the pad. There's a pad with it. Yes, there is, because the brilliant idea about this as well, um, this is where it gets a bit tricky because you need to make sure the appliance will be fully charged because you'll notice that the connector on this is also the same as the connector for that. So you need to make sure that that is fully charged. You can then plug that into the top of there. Um, and two of you can play at the same time. Isn't that brilliant? Yep, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, what a great idea. Now, pad, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, a bit clicky, but that's it. And the buttons, yeah, I don't think there's anything too too wrong with that. It's a very, very light. It's obviously made very, very cheaply, but it's designed to be a second pad. I mean, most people are probably going to not use this. Um, I don't see why, if you've got this, you know, handheld, you're going to have that plugged into it and, and use this to play instead of that. Strange. I don't know. But anyway, so that's it. So you get all this. Look at this, you know, all that for, and I've got a box and some use instructions for £8. That's not bad. So already it's a pretty good deal. And a plastic container as well. Now, how does it work? Well, the interesting thing, you notice the back here, I've already put this in, uh, there's a phone battery in there, 800 um, mega amps. I have no idea what that means. I don't work with um, technology or electricity, so that could mean anything to me. Um, that's what it is it's a simple phone battery which is why it can be charged up and these things are a tenner penny to buy and they don't cost a lot of money either so should this go develop a fault and get them fairly cheaply it's a it's brilliant the weight of this thing i mean there's absolutely no weight to it whatsoever there is no i'm do, you know i'm not even trying and there is just nothing there nothing there um i haven't got a game boy handy have i just looking my game boy cupboard to see if i've got one handy no i haven't ah that's a shame um maybe the Game Boy Pocket would be a good comparison with it um, but yeah I mean, I mean there's absolutely no weight to this at all I mean there's not going to be an awful lot in there bear in mind 
so shall we turn it on now just so you know uh, actually but now I'll show you the functions first because uh, we don't know so there's your that feels a bit stiff that but I don't think it's too bad that is um, the reset button so again another great idea reset button one second I'm disappearing there um, you then got your control buttons which I must be honest with you don't feel great I feel a bit unresponsive and there's also a start button down there and a select button that's select that start and there's your screen screen's meant to be about three inches i've been told it's more likely to be around about 2.8 2.9 but when we're talking uh, there's your on off button at the top there's your uh, power and extra control control controller controller port there's also the um thing for that yes whatever that is uh on the side there's also a volume button which you're going to need and that's it nothing else on that side at all no markings no sort of product number product detail or anything like that at all it is just simply this so let's turn it on and see what happens You're not going to be able to see this. That music's horrendous, isn't it? I'll turn that up a bit. Do you want to hear more music? Let's turn that down a bit. There we go. Yes. Not to drive you bonkers into it. What it does actually say at the top, I, again, I, I apologise to the light on this, it doesn't quite tell you. Um, but it does say at the top there, it does say Chinese and English. So you do have the opportunity to play in either language if you wish to do so. And then as you select it, it tells you 400 in one. And if I can bring, maybe you can just see that, I don't know. Really sorry about this. Um, but it's got all the things like Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 14. Um, Mario 3. I'm just going to sort of wish through, but it has got things like Dr. Mario, Mario Brothers, Turtle 1, Turtle Fighter, uh, Contra. And Contra Force and Super Contra 7. Jackal, Russian Attack, Adventure Island 1 and 2, Chippendale 1 and 2, Bubble Bobble, Snow Brothers, Ninja Gaiden 2, Double Dragon 2 and 3, Robocop Mortal Kombat 4, uh, Spider Man 10 Yard Fight, uh, Aladdin, Balloon Fight, Baseball, Bird Week, Bomberman. I'm just making some of these just sound ridiculous. Burger Time. Uh, Clue Clue Land, Defender, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Mast, Excite Bike, F1 Race, Gallagher, Galaxian, uh, Golf, Hyper Sports, Ice Climber, Load Runner, Mahjong, Nuts and Milk, and then it starts to sort of uh, repeat itself a little bit. Road Fighter, Pac Man, Pinball, Popeye. Star Four, Stargate, Tennis, Warp Man, 1942, Arknoid, uh, Badminton, I'm not sure how that works out, Bomb Jack, Chubby Cherub, Doughboy, I'm not going to go through all these, I'm probably going to stop in a second, Elevator Action, Ice Hockey, Mad Max, Pikachu, Pac-Land, Pro Wrestling, so yeah, 400 games on there, Um. And if I just take it back to the main screen, if I can just try and show you Super Mario Brothers. Maybe you see that? I'm trying. There you go, Super Mario Brothers. And to be honest with you, it doesn't play that badly. Uh, honestly, most people would not know the difference. If you haven't played any games like this for ages, you would um, be quite happy with that. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. First of all, we're going to turn that off. Um, let's get this running through the telly and let's see how it turns out um, could it be interesting to see how some of these games go so we'll play a few and then we can sort of evaluate whether or not this is particularly good value but for eight pounds six maybe not for 25 quid but for eight pounds 63 I think this is a bit of a, a bargain this then is what you get let's see how it plays
Uh, so there you have it. Um, number of games there running off this dis Wii U. Dis Wii U. Dis Wo. Uh, 400 game in one retro console. Thank you very much once again to the Resident House Band the Retro Bear Trio for taking you through that. The reason they're taking you through these videos uh, is because um, the sound of this was incredibly quiet. And I didn't really want you to have to turn your volume up to hear the sound effects on it and then find out that I come booming in again afterwards. So that's why we've uh, incorporated the house band for such methods. Anyway, uh, so yeah, a few games there. As you can see, emulate pretty well. That, that was uh, running through the composite uh, taken from the TV. Seemed to be pretty good. Um, obviously with emulation, there's going to be a few things here and there. I noticed probably the sound of 1942 wasn't great. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's actually the original sound effects or whether the fact that the, it was just not very, very well emulated sound. But uh, you'll notice the difference between the Hyperkin and my other unboxing video and on this one of Super Mario Brothers. And the fact that the music sounds completely different, sounds more like it should do on this one as opposed on to the rather expensive, well, I say rather expensive, the double the price emulation console. In fact, actually, the emulation console is cheaper than that if you bought that standard price. It's cheaper and it's more expensive than the Hyperkin. Anyway. I digress. So what are the good things about this? Well, for the price I paid for it, you get a lot of kit for your, your, your cash. Um, it's compact, it's light, it's got 400 games in there, so you're bound to find something that you want to play on. Um, it recharges easily through the phone battery, which I showed you on the back. It comes with a second controller, so you can connect that to that and have two people playing. Uh, it's what it is, what it is. It's 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 a emulating console which looks like a Game Boy which is not a Game Boy and it comes nicely packaged and you get 15% off your next purchase if you want 15, was it 15 pound gift card oh 15 pound gift card possibly anyway so that's the good things about it the bad things about it um, you can't use this unless you're the second player so I try to plug this in and use it through there and it wouldn't work at all. You have to have, this is a second controller only for a second player. The two player options on these games aren't on the screen at the same time. It's, it's you know, you have to take it in turns. So games like Bubble Bobble and Snow Brothers or Snow Brothers, which you shall be playing, are rendered completely and utterly, you know, it takes the fun out of it. You can't have two people on the same screen at the same time. Uh, the sound emulation is a bit rough at times. The D-pad is very, very stiff and unresponsive. I had a few issues trying to control Pac-Man. Uh, also trying to sort of, uh, you know, Popeye had trouble looking down the stairs. Uh, and also trying to make quick decisions and quick movements on things like uh, Tiger Heli in 1942. You just couldn't do it quickly enough. Russian attack as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I put, I've showed it in there, but there's a point where you jump over landmines. I practically had to stop the character and then do each jump carefully because i could not trust that and that's a big concern if you can't trust that it's not really going to do do the business having said that other games it seemed to work absolutely fine on i don't know it's 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 one of those really and certainly i think the asking price at the moment which i think the starting price on this was 23.99 as i said earlier i got it for much much less than that really i wouldn't want me paying any more than about a tenner for that i mean you do get a lot of games in there some of them, you know, I think once we get past about 100 or so, they start repeating themselves a little bit. But you've you got to search through because you do find sort of tucked away towards the back there are some original games. Uh, but a lot of them, as you go further on into the 200s and 300s, they are reskins of the other games. Which is, you know, you always get that with these sort of knockoff consoles. Could I recommend it? If you can get it as cheap as I did, yes. These are always, since I picked this up over Christmas, uh, they've run a number of offers on different sort of branded names, but they are exactly the same thing. These come in different colours. They may be under things like a, a Molly Hood or an Etsy, but uh, they do come in different colours. I said red, blue, green, I think I've seen white as well. But they are all the same console. They're all have got exactly the same software running through it. They are exactly the same things. Whether you get this colour or a different one is entirely up to you. Uh, it is what it is. It's no, there's no frills about it. You're not, you're not going to find anything here that's going to surprise you. So on that count, if you can get it for less than a tenner, tenner or less, I think you've done all right. Anything more than that, I don't think it's going to be worth worthwhile you picking it up. So keep an eye, I said, on Amazon. They do crop up quite a bit. I think one popped up on, where are we today? Monday the 
20th, aren't we, today? I think one popped up on the Saturday. Just gone. And they do sell out very, very quickly, so keep your eye on them because they do disappear. If you do want one of these, pick one up quickly as you can because they do have a tendency to vanish rather quickly. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that foray into the world of cheap emulation. Uh, this is the Retro Bear saying thank you very much indeed for tuning in. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and tick the, be the bell for more notification, uh, video notification things, you know what I mean. Um, yes, great, lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we will see you again very, very soon. Do take care and bye for now.